Back to our channel. In the video, kulla po mna di ningo nno namma channel subscribe nno na maraka ma subscribe pani konge. Vang video kulla po lam. Back to our channel. And this video, we are going to solve the today's daily test. And today's date is January seven. So these seven days went very faster. Okay. So this year will also get in very fast. So if you are starting something, start today and have a great day. So let it begin. So the question is group of words columns. So what is the main content in this question is we must get a string like this. Okay, the string which contains only lower cases and spaces in between. Okay, all the words in the string are the same length. You can see that eat cat and everything having the same length. And we must group the words starting with the same alphabet. You can see that. We should group which will be starting with the same alphabet and the group must be sorted based on the first alphabet and the words in each group must be sorted in the order of their occurrence. Then we must print the groups of words column by column as shown in the example. Okay, the empty space must be printed as asterisk. Okay, so what is you can see that the in this output the empty spaces are been replaced with the asterisk. Okay so how we are going to do that so you can see this sample input you can see here so the things starting with the same alphabet are here eat egg ear cat car cow mat man wax after sorting we based on the alphabet we get this cat care cat cat car cow and eat egg ear and mat man max like that so today we are going to solve this one using the python language okay so initially i'm gonna create a function named group words uh so create like this column by so i'm keeping this much big name for our function since it will be easier for people to understand so that and now we must split the input string into words so for that a variable words is equal to s yes dot split like this okay and now we must group words by their starting point for that the group words okay i'm gonna create like this the group words is equal to in a dick and now for word in words the start character will be equal to word of zero so we have splitted it and now the start character will be word of zero index that will be the first word and now if the start character not in grouped words and then the grouped words of the start characters will get appended to the word like this okay yeah i, I think we have um, okay okay so it could get grouped words will be equal to in a list and now coming out of this the grouped words of the start care will get appended to the word yeah this is correct i think and now we must sort the groups by the starting alphabets for that i'm creating another one sorted groups is equal to sorted of grouped words dot items okay and now we must get the maximum number of words in any group so for that i'm getting another variable max group size will be equal to max of len of group and for underscore comma group in sorted 
groups okay and we must prepare the result by arranging the words column by column so for that the result will be equal to this and here for i in range of max max group size here okay and now the row will be equal to this and now for underscore comma group in the sorted in the sorted groups and if i less than the length of the group okay and the row will get appended to the group group of i okay let me save the code and check this condition whether it's correct so for i in range max group size okay row will be like this and for underscore comma group in sorted groups if i less than the length of group then the row will get appended yeah and else if this condition false the row get appended to the asterisk into length of words of zero okay and now coming out this the result will get appended this dot join of the row okay and now we must print the result in row by row for that for line in result we must print the line here and now it's time to get the input from the user so yes it is a string we are using the strip function it is used to remove the white spaces from the string okay and now we must call the main function that is group words column by column here okay and now let us run the code and check for the output yeah you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any error and that's it if this video finds useful please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see in the next video thank you for watching this